Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So we are currently doing a late night work sesh. It is 7.45 right now and I'm wrapping up a YouTube video, getting it ready to launch tomorrow morning. And the last thing that I really need to do is perform some keyword research and come up with a title, description, and tag. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about keyword research, how to perform keyword research on YouTube and what to then do with those keywords so that you can rank in search and even just rank higher in search. So there's a decent amount that I wanna cover in this video, but I thought it would be nice if we could just walk through a YouTube video and you guys could see my process and I'm gonna break down exactly exactly how I do those things. So first things first, I have to get my dinner out of the oven and we're gonna eat dinner, do some keyword research and shoot this YouTube video. Okay, we have got <laughs> buffalo chicken spaghetti squash. I am so excited. Also, it is pouring outside right now, so I'm really, really hoping that you guys cannot hear that because I wanna shoot this YouTube video for you guys and I have to get this done tonight. So let me start my screen recording and I'm gonna show you what I have going on. So this is the YouTube video that is going to be going live tomorrow morning and it's talking about the YouTube ads revenue or YouTube revenue analytics and I'm not honestly sure what keyword I wanna target for this. So this is one of the things that I like to do when I'm coming up with my YouTube videos. I just come up with a topic and then I do my keyword research a little bit later. Sometimes, especially if I am trying to increase my views or make sure that a video is a good idea, I will will do my research ahead of time, do not get me wrong. But for this video, I just kind of thought since you guys are really interested in my monetization video, you are interested in my YouTube analytics as well as my first YouTube paycheck, that this would be a good video for you guys so that if you are monetized on YouTube, you can understand your ads revenue. I don't know why I'm explaining that in this video. It doesn't really relate to this video, but that is the video that we are going to be coming up with the keywords for. So the way that I perform keyword research, first and foremost, you need TubeBuddy. And I've talked about TubeBuddy several times because it's just the best thing going, honestly. And I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So I already have TubeBuddy installed on my internet browser right now, and I'm just gonna perform a basic search. So I wanna do YouTube revenue. Okay, so there's YouTube revenue explained. That could possibly be a keyword. So I'm gonna complete this keyword word search right here and then over on the right hand side it is going to pop up and this is TubeBuddy and if you click on show keyword score you can see the search volume so red it means that it's not searched a lot green means that it's searched a lot this is kind of not the best keyword in my opinion but it wouldn't be a bad one to include in my tags and if I look none of these YouTube videos actually say YouTube revenue explained so that could be a title idea for this YouTube video, I could do that, but I wanna do revenue like analytics explained. And I feel like that's actually gonna end up being a long tail keyword. So YouTube might not like me for that, but let's show keyword score for this one. So this one's also good. It's not search that much. Competition is a little bit more competitive, but I honestly think that that may be the main keyword that we target. And that's gonna be just kind of my start where I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this YouTube video. And then I may end up changing the title, but that's one of the keywords that I at least wanna target. So again, down here in the tab, I'm going to add that as well. When it comes to keyword research, you definitely want to pay attention to TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is going to become your best friend and you want to try to find keywords that are searched a decent amount but have a low competition. And if you want to learn more about how I perform research when I come up with video ideas, video ideas that actually get views, I will include that video right here, but I will also include it in the description bar down below. But I already mentioned tags, so I feel like we need to talk about where to place keywords. So YouTube, it's a search engine. And if you know anything about search engine optimization, SEO, it all comes down to your keywords. When it's Google, Pinterest, YouTube, it comes down to your keywords, using your keywords properly and including them in the right places. So when it comes to YouTube and your YouTube videos, there are a few places that you want to include your keywords. First, when you are shooting your YouTube video, you want to speak your keywords. You want to include your keywords in the text in what you are actually recording in your video because YouTube can understand you. You know, they can translate your video. That's why they have captions or you can enable captions on your video. So actually including your keyword in what is included in your YouTube video helps YouTube to connect the dots and say, yes, the keywords that they are trying to target actually match the content of what is included in that video. Beyond that, you want to include keywords in your title. So I've talked about this several times, but there are 100 characters that you have available to you when it comes to your title. So you want to be using 
a decent chunk of that. Honestly, I try to get around 95 characters. I try to use as much as possible because I want to make sure that my keywords are in the title and that I'm targeting as many keywords as possible. Now, I'm not just keyword stuffing. Don't get me wrong. I do include natural language and I make a title that I think is clickable, but I do include keywords in my title. Then you want to include keywords in your description and your tag. So now that I kind of have a general idea of what the title is going to be, I'm just going to start listing out some tags. So again, I'm going to go back to my keyword research. So what was the keyword that I looked at before? YouTube revenue explained. So I think I'm just going to do that one. And then we'll do YouTube revenue explained 2019. Now I want to specifically pay attention to maybe YouTube monetization explained. So we could do that. Um, I'm afraid that that's going to be more so how to get monetized on YouTube and I already have a video that's kind of targeting that keyword so I wouldn't really want to do that. Let's see if I just type in YouTube analytics what happens. So you want to pay attention to right here these are recommendations based off of what other people have searched on YouTube so this is always a good place to start but I already did YouTube analytics explained. Maybe monetization not enabled on YouTube. It doesn't look like monetization analytics is searched. I don't even think that's a good keyword at all. So sometimes you're going to type in these ideas and they're just not going to be good at all. Ooh, this YouTube video right here, how to read your YouTube analytics. That is exactly what I want to target within this. So that actually may be the title of this, how to read your YouTube revenue analytics. That's good. That may end up being it. So you can see right there, I'm already using 95 characters out of my 100. You can see that right here. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to do. So I am going to then include that keyword, how to read your, let's do YouTube analytics. And then we're going to do YouTube revenue analytics. Perfect. Okay. I think I'm going to end up doing more keyword research off screen and then including more tags. I don't want to bore you guys with just coming up with all the tags that I am going to include in my YouTube video. The next area that you want to make sure that you include your keywords is within your description. And if you are not taking the time to include your keywords within your description, you definitely need to do that. And here's why. Let's search monetized on YouTube because I think this is a keyword that I am appearing for. Perfect. So right here, I am the second video when someone types in monetized on YouTube. And as you can see right here, this is the description. So I'm officially monetized on YouTube. It bolds monetized on YouTube because it recognizes that that keyword is included in the description and that keyword is also included in the title right there. And then of course I included it in my tags as well. So you want to make sure that your tags are not your tags, that your keywords are appearing in your title, in your description, in your tags, and that they match up that you're including the exact same words, the exact same phrases, because YouTube's going to match them all together and say, okay, they're clearly targeting this keyword. Let's try to help them out within this keyword as long as it's a good YouTube video. Guys, there is so much that goes into YouTube SEO that I'm not going to touch in this video. I specifically just wanted to talk about keywords. I just realized I haven't even touched my food yet. Let's see if it's any good. Mm, mm-hmm. So good. So when it comes to writing your description, you want to start out with a bang and you want to include your keywords first and foremost. So I used to start my descriptions by saying, hey guys, that's not helpful. That's not a good keyword to target, obviously. So I'm going to say either like in this video or ooh, learn how to read your YouTube revenue analytics. What do I want to say? So first keyword obviously targeted is how to read your YouTube revenue analytics. So then those keywords match up and then it's also included in my tags as well. And then in this video, I want to break down so you can, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to continue writing this off screen. I don't want to bore you guys with this, but what I did here in this description, I'm including a ton of keywords. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my tags and I'm going to make sure that those tags match up with those keywords. So specifically, when I started out, learn how to read your YouTube revenue analytics, that matches the keyword in the title. And there's also a tag that has that exact phrase. Beyond that, it says I want to break down so how you can better understand your YouTube revenue analytics. That's a very, very long keyword, but if you think about it, understand your YouTube revenue analytics, that's a good keyword. Find how much you make from YouTube, another good keyword. What is your CPM? 
uh, what your CPM is per video. I think I need to reword that because that is not a good keyword there. And then I know a popular question, one of the questions that I got is, does YouTube actually take 50% of what you make off of your YouTube videos? So I want to specifically include that in there because some people type full sentences when they are searching for things. And I know I do, especially when I'm on Google, I will type a full sentence. I won't just type in certain keywords. So if someone's searching for, does YouTube take 50% of your ads revenue? I want to make sure that I am appearing for that keyword. So I'm going to include that in my description. So I'm going to include even more keywords. I'm going to build this out a little bit more to make sure that it is good, but really that is it when it comes to keywords. And I know I say that is it as if it's not a big deal, but it is. You're, I really do believe that you need to be performing your keyword research, figure out what keywords are actually good keywords to target. You don't want to target the ones that everyone is targeting where the competition is too high because you're not going to actually rank for those keywords. You want to actually target the keywords that you have a chance in appearing for. So actually, let me show you guys. I am going to jump back to the Creator Studio Classic because for some reason my tube buddy isn't working with the YouTube studio beta right now, but I want to show you what these tags really do and how you can appear for these tags. So one of the cool things about TubeBuddy is it will actually show you where you are ranking with the tags that you included. So these are the tags that I included within this YouTube video and I am ranking for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven out of the, okay, so I'm ranking for 50% of the keywords that I included in my tag section, but I am ranking very, very high for these. So I'm ranking top five for the ones that I'm actually ranking for. It is the next day the YouTube video launched five hours ago and I just wanted to show you what keywords I was ranking for based off of the keyword research that I did that you guys already saw and the keywords that I included in my tags. I am ranking for all of them but four keywords that I included in my tag section. So if you find the right keywords to target, you can definitely rank for those keywords, even if you are a small YouTuber. Right now I've got 2,500 subscribers on my YouTube channel. That's it, and I'm ranking for keywords. So definitely do your keyword research, make sure you're placing them in the right places, and that's really all I got for you guys. So I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I am going to eat my dinner, wrap up coming up with this description and tags for this YouTube video, get it ready for launch, and then hopefully stop work within a half hour. So I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.